snorkel distancing. Stop using it as a gun. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks so much for joining in my episode last week and thanks for all the great feedback. This week I have something exciting that I want to show you and I've also got a lot to talk to you about. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to know more about me, triathlon motivation and inspiration, and my lifestyle behind the scenes. I'm not waiting a second longer because I'm super excited about this. After nearly four months, I finally jumped into a swimming pool. It might be a school pool, it might be 25 yards and freezing cold, but I'm motivated. Hoob wetsuits are making it happen. Roll that power curve. So I have quite a bit to work on with the swimming. My hands are just slipping through that water, but I've got a month to get ready for my first race. So this week I got a new delivery and it's a Finise Stability Snorkel. Something interesting about the snorkel is that Finise were the first company to bring out the center mount snorkel for competitive swimmers. The snorkel is my favorite piece of equipment in my swim bag. I don't go anywhere without it. Some of the great benefits swimmers can get from using a stability snorkel is you get to work on your body position and your technique in the water. It balances out your stroke if you are dominant breathing to one side. And the last great thing about it is that it reinforces a streamlined position in the water so your efficiency through the water becomes better. So I'm going to bring in my wife Franzel and we're going to talk a little bit about something exciting that came in this week. So everyone, I want to introduce to you my wife, Franzel Skumann. So I was really lucky and Finise sent two snorkels. One for me in yellow. One for me in black. <laughs> so I'm running a competition on my Instagram. Who could guess the color combination of the snorkels that we chose? I chose yellow. I chose black. The one of this competition is, you have won yourself a Finis Stability Snorkel in your choice of colour. Please 
please contact Henry with your details and we will make sure you get your snorkel. You got it. Stop using it as a gun. <laughs> During the week, we received our wedding album. It weighs like a ton, but there are so many amazing pictures in here. No. It's bright, happy, love, <laughs> amazing photography from Volna Towel. It's like this nice suede. It's like a, a soft leather. It's got our names on the front and the date we got married. Well, the date that the wedding was on. And if you page through, it's got like these super thick pages like cardboard it's a flat lay album so there's no seam in the middle of the pages so you can have a big picture that stretches over the entire album and you don't see the seam in the middle like this one how do you feel about talking about some wedding memories you know how i feel about that i've been talking about it for a decade what is your favorite picture it's really hard to pick just one. So it was all in our creative shoot. First one is when both of us are standing underneath my veil. I think that's really nice and it's a black and white photo which I really like. And then there's two other pictures where in the picture you can see Henry's actually laughing. It's not like a put on, like a wedding smile. And I can tell that he's actually laughing by the little wrinkles around his eyes, I say a lot deeper. And looking at the pictures, I remember what we were talking about and why he was laughing. I think I like those because it's very natural. So what was your favorite picture? There's definitely one that stands out. It's that black and white picture where we're standing in the open Midland fields, gazing into each other's eyes and have this clear sky in the background. All we can see is each other and have all that love in our eyes and in our hearts burning for each other. How is this though? Where is this romance falling from? I have another question for you. Okay. What is your most favorite memory? I'd have to say, because you made me wait eight and a half years before we got married, when my dad, who officiated the wedding, said, I now pronounce you husband and wife, it was like a big sigh of relief that I finally managed to lock the sky down. What's your favorite memory? In the chapel where we got married. This is obviously from the back. The most amazing memory that stuck with me most was when the doors opened and I saw you for the first time in your wedding dress. The way you walked down the aisle, knowing how beautiful you looked. I was just trying to hold back the tears. I had the smile on my face, which I didn't know if I was laughing or crying or, or happy. It was just, it was an amazing moment and I think that seeing you walking down the aisle knowing that I'm starting a new life with you was the most amazing moment of my life so far. Not just of the wedding but of my life. Really? <laughs> I finally beat the Olympic Games? It's amazing. Love is a powerful, powerful thing. <laughs> what was your favourite like moment or like realisation? of the wedding leading up to it other than us of course a fond memory i have but leading up to the wedding was how my groomsmen looked after me we looked dapper sharp you looked hot thanks not dapper or was it was it that blue jacket i don't know you were marriage material that day <laughs> i was relieved the boys they made sure that i was ready to marry you so i was in a good space of mind they made sure everything was sorted out before the wedding i looked the part made sure I looked flawless and ready to stand in front of you and get married. And what's your favorite moment? One of the groomsmen coming in while we were getting dressed, while the girls were getting dressed, asking if my makeup artist can please go to their side of the house where we were getting ready because Henry needs a makeup artist. She left my face and she went with her brushes and everything and she came back about 10 minutes later and she says he was very nervous about his ears that were too red. So thinking back on that, that really makes me smile and it's a really cool moment. You were flawless and stunning, beautiful. You ticked all those boxes and yeah, I'm so happy I married you. Thanks man. You were pretty hot too. Was Your pants white? were nice and tight. The white hair. Oh, the white hair was a request from 2016 and I said to him when we get married you have to have white hair 
and he just looked so amazing. I like it when it kind of like has that little bit of regrowth, not completely white. I think that like regrowth both. looks cool. I like both. Do you think he should make it white again? Drop a comment below. So that's our little bit of love story from our new wedding album that we received. So while I got you here, let's talk about our first outing to a restaurant. We decided to go to a place that Henry's never been to. It's called Mary and Joe in Umschlange in Durban. How was that? No, it was really good. I like to have Eggs Benedict. It was a brunch. I was really surprised, happily surprised that it was probably my best eggs benny that i've had it was really nice to get a little bit of a change of scenery and start off the new normal in a different way to be home you know with you and with the dogs and speaking about the dogs we gave them a bit of a haircut we sent them to have a haircut because we can't cut the hair was so long molly just had like so many Things. Little knots. But I think they look really cute. I, I think Wally looks like a little hedgehog. It's a little bit cooler, so with no fluff to keep them warm, we had to put their jerseys on. But they get really cold though. Like we have yeah. to literally cover them with blankets because they're shivering on the couch. They're just being dramatic. And the one day they were running after the monkeys and decided to swim with their jersey. Cycling has been a little bit reduced at the moment. But when I get the chance to be out, Durban weather is not disappointing, neither is my race box. I really enjoy what Swift Carbon have accomplished with the feel of the bike. Running has also been taking a little bit of strain with an injury to my left soleus. It's so unfortunate because I've been in the best running form ever. I'm constantly having physio treatment. Staying on top of a niggle is always important, especially in the early stages. In the beginning of the year, Kurt got me back on my feet after having tendinopathy in both Achilles tendons, and I believe he'll get me back on my feet again in no time. I'm really lucky to have Prime High Performance Institute right on my doorstep and allows me access to the best team of staff and facilities. I ran a session on the Ultra G treadmill. I only needed to run with 90% body weight to feel no pain and I was able to stretch the legs with a few 400s. So I wanted to update you a little bit about the traveling issue that I have at the moment. So here are the different scenarios that I face right now. Best case scenario, I find a flight out of South Africa, I find a base in Europe, the races carry on as normal, I perform, I race well, and I get a flight back home. Best case scenario. The other possible outcomes that I face are I don't get out of the country, I base myself in Europe, but the races don't happen. Then without any funding, I have to support myself, get myself through until I hopefully get a flight back to South Africa. And that's the, the third thing is that I might not get a flight back to South Africa. So now I'm stuck in Europe. The fourth is that what if I contract COVID-19? I need uh, medical support. And this is something that I'll have to cover myself because my medical aid won't cover that when I'm overseas. And the fifth outcome that I'm probably most worried about is that I'm in Europe and suddenly lockdown comes about again. I get locked up in an apartment or a hotel room. I can't train. I can't uh, carry on with my triathlon lifestyle. And I'm, I can't get back home. I'm just stuck in Europe with no support. So traveling right now is really scary. And that's why I just want to bring it to your attention. I don't feel that it's fair for the athletes to be expected to risk their health and travel to these races with the possibility of the races getting cancelled. Now I'm talking about the major races where money, points, rankings all matter. I want to hear your thoughts about traveling overseas during this time in this pandemic. Drop your comments below. Thanks everyone for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and the subscribe button for more. Does your snorkel want to see my snorkel? <laughs> Stop using it as a gun. <laughs> Snorkel, this one's saying.